right, good afternoon, everyone. We are gonna go ahead and get started. First off, thank you for coming. Uh, we're pretty excited about this seminar. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give an introduction about our team and why the seminar came to be. And we'll go over a little bit about the agenda of today, um, and then we'll go ahead and get started with our speakers. So, so to begin, Welcome, like I said, and I just want to thank our speakers, our funding agencies, Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative, NOAA, and obviously the Pensacola Library for letting us borrow their space. Um, and so here's a quick um, look at our agenda. Uh, there'll be a total of five speakers today. We'll do, uh, it'll be me and then the first three speakers, and then we'll take a break. Um, we will be covering uh, oil on the beaches and some chemistry about the oil and also some seafood safety. Um, then we'll take a break, um, we'll, then we'll come back and we'll have our speakers speak about the impacts of oil on dolphins and sea turtles. And then at the end, we're gonna have a question and answer panel. So um, I ask that you all hold your questions um, for each speaker until the question and answer panel. So each speaker is gonna speak about 20 minutes and then have a seat and we'll get through all the speakers and then they'll all come up front um, and we can have a round of questions at the end of uh, the seminar. And then we'll wrap up and ask you guys to fill out some evaluations for us, and then we'll be adjourned for the day. So a little bit of background about our oil spill science outreach team. Um, we are a collaboration between the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative and Sea Grant. So initially, um, when the BP oil spill happened, BP um, gave 500 million non-penalty funds um, to the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative um, for 10 years. Um, the, fund, the funding was supposed to last uh, across 10 years. And um, in the first few years of the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative, there was lots of science coming out, lots of publications coming out. Um, however, they needed a way to get it to their target audiences, um, at basically people whose lives depended on a healthy Gulf of Mexico. And so they looked to Sea Grant, who already had a trusted and embedded uh, relationship with those in their community. Uh, we have Sea Grant agents, well, in Florida, we have Sea Grant agents on almost all our coastal counties. Uh, we have Rick O'Connor and um, Chris Berlindi, who are up here in the panhandle for Florida Sea Grant. Um, and so they already knew that those folks were trusted within their communities, and these folks could be the ones to get the information out to those that wanted the information without having to go read a science publication and, and, and looking up the information for themselves. So they hired us. Um, we are a group of five right now. Um, we have a specialist in each Sea Grant office along the Gulf Coast. Um, Steve Sempier up there is at, with Mississippi, Alabama. He's our regional coordinator. Uh, I am Monica Wilson. I'm with Florida Sea Grant and I'm located in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, we have Missy Partika who's in the back over there and she's with Mississippi, Alabama Sea Grant as well. And we have Tara Skelton who's our communicator up here. Um, and then Emily Mung Douglas is with Louisiana Sea Grant. Uh, we, did, we did have a Texas representative, however, um, she has moved on to a different position, so we are now actively looking for a new team member for, to join us with Texas Sea Grant. Um, so what do we do? We basically provide two-way exchange. We share peer-reviewed, published science with those that want to know more. Um, we do this in a numerous ways, science seminars like this one. Um, we host workshops and have input sessions where we bring presenters and the experts to come and talk about some of the questions that are still being asked about the Deepwater Horizon or impacts of oil to different environments. Um, and we continue with, through these um, seminars and the evaluations that we asked of you all, we continue to try identify needs that, and questions that the audience members still have. Um, so basically, we do two-way engagement. We take the audience input and then we respond to those needs. And we either um, provide, look through peer reviewed journals to provide answers to that and government reports. Uh, we sift through those. And once we're done, we either produce the publications, which they are all in the back table over there, all 30, 31 publications that we have published on different oil spill topics are all located there. So feel free to take some, but they're all for um, our target audiences. So please take them. Um, or again, we do seminars. Um, and bring the information to the, to the people who want to know more. And at the end of the seminar, like I said, we will fill out evaluations and we will ask what questions you still have. And so we go back through that entire loop again. Um, and so we've been doing this for almost five years now, uh, providing our target audiences with more oil spill information. Um, and like, oh, there it is. So th sorry, we, this is uh, the amount of publications and some of the stuff we've done in the past five years. We've had um, over 30 seminars all along the, cross the Gulf states and even outside the Gulf states. 
Um, we've given over 50 individual talks. We've published 31 publications. Uh, 22 of those are eight pagers. We've also even uh, produced one pagers, which are simple front and back information that's pretty simple and easy to understand. Um, and in the past year, we've published a top uh, publication on birds. Uh, we updated our top frequently five frequently asked questions about oil spills. And we also had one that uh, on aerial and surface technology that's used to study oil spills. And still to come, we have a publication that speaks about HABs and oil um, and impacts to mangrove publication. And we're still working on a few more um, topics to, to make more publications on. So the purpose of today's seminar. Um, so just to share how this got started, um, my, my local Sea Grant agent was at a seafood festival and he had his Sea Grant table out and people were still coming up to him and asking him some questions about the oil spill. And he was actually kind of surprised. I've, I'd, I'd been coming up to Pensacola maybe once every year just to see how everything's going. And so he actually got in contact with me. He's like, I, people are still asking questions. Can we do something about it? Um, so I decided to do something a little differently. Normally our seminars are based around a topic, um, whether that's impact of, of oil to mammals or impact of oil to birds. Um, where did the oil go? However, he was still getting a random amount of questions about the impacts to the, to the panhandle. So I changed it up and I said, well, let's do a seminar that talks, of, uh, has a regional theme. And so I try to come up with a group of uh, folks that have done and studied um, the impacts of oil in the area um, to come and, and, and make it more localized and, and uh, to the community. Um, so that's how this seminar got started. Um, so the goals of our seminar are to share more science and information about the impacts of the oil to the Florida Panhandle, and then just to network, communicate, make some partnerships, um, and just to have fun. So, so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> 